Over several months in 1726, a 25-year-old servant girl called Mary Toft began to give birth to a series of rabbits, cats, and miscellaneous animal limbs. On September 27th of that year, watched over by her neighbour and mother-in-law, Mary went into labour. When the newborn came out, at around the time under normal situation, the doctor and midwife would check to make sure the baby was okay before handing it to the mother, they were a little preoccupied by the fact that Mary had appeared to have given birth to a cat, which had had its liver removed. The family could have gone one of two ways, but they opted to call an obstetrician rather than a vet. When Dr. John Howard arrived, he was presented with the liverless cat, as well as an assortment of meats that had made their way out of Mary during the night. The doctor was baffled by this case, and over the next month he monitored Mary, recording what came out of her rather like a butcher doing a stock check, or a prize conveyor belt on a game show. During that month, he noted that she had pushed out several legs from a cat, a rabbit's head, as well as nine baby rabbits, all dead. He informed local scientists, doctors, and, for an extra level of weirdness, the King of England. While he was waiting for the medical community to arrive, he took any meats that came out of Mary and pickled them, like onions, one of which found their way to the king. Of course, Mary's fame grew and grew. There was little by way of entertainment in a society that had yet to invent TikTok, so don't judge them too harshly for finding a woman that was giving birth to assorted meats as a welcome distraction. The medical team dispatched by the king arrived in mid-November, just in time to see Mary give birth to another dead rabbit. And rather than making a pickle, this time the doctor inspected the dead parts more closely. Enter one of the king's men, Swiss surgeon and anatomist Nathaniel St. Andre. He was convinced that the origin of these births was supernatural, which isn't really something you want to hear from a medical professional whose job it is to cut you open in order to fix you. Either way, he took samples and gave them to the king and also to the Prince of Wales as evidence. But some people had some pretty big questions, like for instance, why did some of the rabbits appear to be newborn and some appeared to be about three months old? So the king sent for a better surgeon, Syriacus Alas, who inspected more closely and discovered that there was actually dung in the rectum of one of the rabbits. Upon picking it apart, he found traces of hay and straw and corn, which kind of implies that the rabbit was placed inside Mary after having eaten a full meal, or Mary was growing an entire farm inside her. Toft tried to explain the supernatural births as her having been startled by a rabbit one day when she was out working in a field. People thought back then that mothers' thoughts and feelings could impact the look and development of their unborn child. However, it was soon to be shown that Mary and her husband had been purchasing quantities of meat to push up inside Mary, who could fake labour and then push them out again. Later that month, Mary was being watched by a large crowd of people on the invitation of St. Andre in order to validate her claims, which later would turn out to be rather an own goal. Surprisingly, under careful watch, she didn't give birth to any more random animal limbs, and due to infection likely caused by having had carcasses inside her for the last two months, she was passing in and out of consciousness. Not long after, a porter was discovered trying to sneak a rabbit into Mary's room on the order of Mary's sister-in-law. To make an already grim tale worse, Toft, who there is a strong case to be had that she was being manipulated into the bizarre situation, historians argue, was placed under pressure to confess that she had been inserting the animal parts herself. Eventually, after having been threatened with very painful surgery in order to determine the truth, she confessed. Toft was jailed for a couple of months, and when she returned to her life, she was occasionally wheeled out as a curiosity by the Duke of Richmond. Meanwhile, the medical profession was being mocked mercilessly by the press for having been fooled by the hoax. St. Andre's reputation was in tatters, he lost all his patients, and he died in poverty, having learned the hard way that the very last thing that anybody wants in a surgeon is someone prepared to publicly state that women can give birth to bunnies. 